YouTube world, I'm back. Um, I'm still on my little 8x8 canvases and this probably m might be the last of the spring, springy ones because I have in my mind that I want to revisit something else. So I seem to work in collections and I've got a few collections, about four collections going that I can go back and revisit. Um, from time to time and I think I quite like that concept actually because I get I don't want to get bogged down and bored with just one technique doing one style all of the time um, so I'm going to be going back to my seascapes very soon but today I have in my mind that I want to do something really minimalistic and if this reaches YouTube well We'll see because I feel a bit of a fraud doing it because it's going to be so simple. If I've got the guts to do it, it's just using a tiny bit of paint. We'll see what happens. Um, so I'm just going to play some music and let you watch.
just wanted to show you with these two that I'm going to do one side. So I purposely left negative space here so I don't have to do this side here because it just takes days to wait for it to dry, to mask it all off and then to do it all over again for the other side. I'm not doing it. So you can see I've just used tracing paper to mask off um, also this side as well because when you put the, the painting down to dry if your surface is wet even if it's dry it will stick found that out the hard way <laughs> so yeah later and uh, normally I uh, do all my videos in stages so I've just finished editing this video and I've come back to show you the dried results with a little, little voiceover and I said right at the beginning of the video that I was, wasn't going to use a lot of paint and I didn't but I still didn't use quite as less as I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to just use such a little amount of paint, maybe in the future. Um, yellow is so strong, isn't it? You can see there how much that yellow just takes over. But I, I love this negative space um, and I love how it goes around the corner. If I probably, when I get time, I might just blend that in with some green. I have done that on the others, just so it's not such a hard line. But that's just a minor thing. This one, you saw in the video that I, I normally drag my stick down. But on the bluebells, I just dragged it up. And they remind me of Sarah Levin's um, flower paintings. But on the... Um, on the leaves, I, I drag it down because I thought maybe that's a bit more of a bluebell shape. <laughs> Aside, so I hope you've enjoyed this little series. I will be doing more of these to sell, but obviously at the craft fairs and things like that. But obviously, I won't I won't be showing any more on YouTube because you'll get fed up of seeing them. Um, yeah, so I'll be moving on to something else very soon. I hope. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your lovely comments. Um, hopefully beginner's video coming up soon on a ring pour. I just need to practice. <laughs> so I will um, see you all soon. Bye.